Good morning. No, it's actually good afternoon. <laughs> Starting my day. Got some errands to run. And I'm, I'm supposed, well, my sister invited me to my nephew's one year old um, birthday. But it's not like a party, it's at a, um, a buffet. I'm gonna see if I can make that. I'm a little pushed behind. But we'll see. <laughs> right now I'm heading to the post office. Gotta get money orders and stuff. And all that other stuff. And I'm feeling very pink today. Leave a comment below. Let me know how your day is going. When you see this video, of course. <laughs> and as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, I had an unexpected delivery which ended me up in Rome, Georgia. <clears throat> That's about 50 miles outside of Atlanta and about, I would say more than 50, I would say maybe 55, almost 60 miles out of Atlanta. <clears throat> And from my house, <laughs> that's about a hundred miles outside from my house. So now that I'm in Rome, do what the Romans do. <laughs> but I'm going to get me something to eat. I haven't ate all day. Um, what I wanted to share with y'all was that for the new year, I'm doing keto. I've done keto in the past, but never really strict or like stuck with it for a while. Well, I stuck with it, but it's always on and off. But today, I did good because I didn't eat. It's now almost six o'clock, 10 minutes to six. And I haven't ate all day. I basically didn't drink nothing but an energy drink, the Monster, but the White Can. So it's good because I was fasting. But I need food, I need energy. And I know the keto people out there is gonna be like, you could have ate this and that and blah, blah, blah. But my favorite cuisine is Thai. And I'm about to eat some Thai food. I look up, I looked up. I look up, I looked up, shit. Look, I need food because I can't even function. I looked up a Thai restaurant. I was gonna go to this Mexican right here, but I went on Yelp and then a Thai restaurant came up because Yelp updated their app and they asked me what's my favorite cuisine and they said Thai. So now I understand that anywhere I'm at, they're gonna recommend a Thai restaurant. This Thai restaurant is 2.7 miles away, which takes me seven minutes to get there. I have time to kill. It's gonna take me about, it took me two hours to get here because of the traffic. So hopefully it takes me like maybe an hour and a half to get back home or maybe even longer. But if I have food in my system, I'm good. And if it's Thai food, I'm good. So keto committee, don't kill me. I'm just trying to live, I'm just trying to live. People do have cheat days. This is my cheat day. And then also Sunday will be my cheat day because Livy's coming into town and we already plan to go out to brunch. But the restaurant, I can order like an omelet, bacon and stuff, you know, keep away from the carbs. But we'll see. That's a whole nother day and a whole nother story. So let me head over to this restaurant. I forgot what it's called. Like the Jasmine Tire Cuisine. Hopefully it's good. It was two choices in the area. One was four stars and one was four and a half star but the one with four and a half star um their parking was street parking and i don't feel like looking for street park i don't know this area um i don't know if it's crowded i don't know this area dangerous so this one that i chose that has the four stars they have private parking lots so they won the table. 
Overall, this place was, it was decent. It looks like it used to be like a, a like a Brewster's or something. Because it has like the, what do you call that? The shelf outside and that looks like the window. But yeah, if I was in Rome, I'd come back out here. Now my stomach's bubbling. Let me see how long I got till I get to civilization or well, home. Fastest route, the spike crashes on 75, causing an 18 minute delay. It's 114 miles, two hours and seven minutes. Lord, Lord help me, help me now, help me now. Help me, help me. Hopefully by the time I get to that crash, they clear it up. Give me 18 minutes, my eight, give me my 18 minutes back. I'ma crank up my music and ride out. I would let y'all ride with me, but knowing how YouTube is, they gonna say it's copyright. <laughs> if I have the music in there. When it's hot as hell, I know who I can run to. Heading to Dollar Tree. Am I the one, only one who gets most of their cleaning supplies from Dollar Tree? It's like the same cleaning supplies, but a dollar. Do I need it? Nah. Let's see. You gotta face the fear of walking with a camera in your hand. Because everybody's gonna judge you anyway. But everybody holds a phone in the hand recording when something happens. Mine is just legit, it's a camera. Okay, I need both hands though. Cleaning supplies. Gosh. So, so, I get with the stuff. Um, I went to this gas station because this brand, this new brand, is like P-U-R-A. They have a spiked sparkling water. Say that three times. Um, but the it's new. I saw it on Instagram. But the only flavor they had was blackberry, and I don't like blackberry. They have mango, blackberry, and orange. I don't like the other two. I was going for the mango. He doesn't have it. Um, they gave him blackberry as a trial. Um, and this other lady had came far, because if you go on the brand's website, uh, you could type in your zip code, and it'll show you the closest location um, for it. So they had that, but then when I passed by it, I saw another spiked salsa well this is salsa that I have but the other one was spiked sparkling water and this is what I have so I love grapefruit it's sparkling water but it has liquor in it so we're gonna see how it tastes I don't know what's the percentage it does have five carbs five sugar but that's because it comes from the alcohol I guess but what is the content of liquor? I want to shake it up. Um, 
six percent alcohol so you know it's it's water but it's healthy water well it's, it's water which is healthy but has liquor in it so when i get home i'm gonna try it look what i found spiked seltzer it's Hi, CJ. Drinking. Seltzer. It's an acquired taste. 